the butterfly layered haircut. But there's one little trick that I want to show you guys. And as I studied what the butterfly haircut was, it was to give the illusion in the front that you kind of have a shorter haircut, but then it's a long haircut. So um, we're going to disconnect the top and the bottom in this cut, and that's going to really differentiate it from a basic layered haircut. Also, kind of reminds me of a butterfly. Uh, when you think about the body of a butterfly, how the wings kind of flow back. So I'm going to think of the top of this haircut as the wings and how they're light and feathered back. And then I'm going to think of the bottom part of the haircut, the base of the haircut as the body. Uh, and that's going to have more density, less layering, and it's more solid. All right, so uh, the sectioning for the cut. We're going to focus on basically just separating top and bottom. Nothing complicated. I like to work in the direction I'm gonna part first. So I comb the hair in that direction and then I could just take tip of the comb and work it around. Now I wanna sit in the middle or on top of that parietal ridge based on the density of the haircut. So if they have super thick hair, I'll go on top of the uh, parietal ridge. And I'll continue working that horseshoe shape around the head. And for speed's sake in the salon, I like to work this line pretty quick, not assuming that I get it right, right away. It's easy to adjust it, but it takes a lot less time if you put less thought into it initially and then put your thought into it as you need. So I'll comb this up in the air like this, like that. Then I'll twist it up and we'll clip it away. Now we've separated top and bottom. What I want to do is to focus on the base first. This top I want to cut last. And the way that I'm going to do that is diagonal back partings through the back. And we're just going to go until we run out of hair. So now diagonal back. And I still want the hair to feather back off of her face. We call this an open shape. I still want it to be layering, so I need to elevate it above 90 degrees. So here we go, diagonal back. And I'm gonna clip this hair away for the sake of teaching, but in the salon, I would not. Just so you guys can really see that parting. So I bring this over. I wanna go not parallel with the parting. I wanna shift up and elevate. If her head is straight, I need the hair to be not straight out from her head, I mean, this is kind of 90 degrees. I want to go just a little bit above that. So here we go. I'll bring that hair in front of her face. Not too much over direction, just straight, straight out. And then my elevation, I want it to be just above, straight out from the head. And I'll just keep bringing that hair over to me. Now, what is happening as I bring this hair over to me is not only am I over directing it from further away, so from one to two to three to four, bringing those all the way over to one, right? So I'm creating length into the back, but also understand that you're working on this curve here. So every time you take a section, it's also being over-directed horizontally even more than you think because of the round of the head. So just understand how much weight is actually gonna be pushed at that point. So I just keep going until I run out of hair, which will probably be about almost now. So this pops some layers into the haircut, but they're pretty heavy layers and long because we don't elevate too high. Now we're gonna mimic the same thing on the opposite side. To find my guideline, I pinch right in the recession point. I bring out two pieces of hair. I make sure I've got the right angle and then I Cut. So now I've got my guideline to go off of when I take my diagonal back parting. So we've got some layers in there, but nothing big deal, right? Now what I want to do is I want to cut my baseline. And now that I've cut those layers, her hair's not super thick. I don't even have to break up this into sections, bringing it down onto her invisible shoulders and cutting my line across. So that is the body of the butterfly. We're gonna part right down the center. Now, one thing I want you to think about when you picture a butterfly is that their wings, it's not like they connect. I mean, they connect to their body, but they're not in fluid length right? 
kind of disconnected and, and float. So I want the top of this to have that kind of feathered effect to the top and disconnect it a little bit from the bottom, but not to a point where if your client doesn't know how to style their hair, they're gonna have an issue. All right, so I got a center parting. I'm just gonna take diagonal partings all the way through the top, and I'm going to now elevate them up in the air. We also cut the entire side straight out from the face. So I'm looking straight on. We didn't, over, we kept all of this straight straight off the temple, right? Now, when I get into this area of the head, now I'm going to bring it over top of the opposite eye. I'm gonna bring this over like this, and I'm going to cut it right. Now, as I take these diagonal sections, my awareness needs to be where I'm at on the parietal ridge. I do not want to pull that underneath into this because that would change the entire haircut. It would blend the entire side. It would remove too much weight from uh, the bottom of the haircut. So I'll go all the way through with my parting. But then when I go to recomb, take the section, I follow along the parietal ridge. Okay. Now, what do we got? Let that down. So we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. How do I find my guide? I'll grab a little piece from what I just cut. Grab a little piece from the new side. Bring it out to me like that. Make sure my fingers are square with the forehead. Now I got my piece, my diagonal parting. And I bring this all over to the opposite eye. Look at that haircut, that's cool. See? The wings here, fun. The base here, butterfly. Let's blow it dry, that's the haircut. Let me add in to neuro lift. All right, let me work this through. So, got the product worked through. I actually would really love to see to do that. I've ran my hands through it too much, but so I go low airflow, high heat, and I'm just going to diffuse it. This would be beautiful blown out too, but I just wanted to, when I started seeing the wave pop, I, I don't get the chance to see these haircuts wavy that often. So this has been a cut before, but separating the top and bottom with that disconnection, disconnection to me is like one of the like most underrated things I think that people don't think about and it's not taught in beauty school. So a lot of people don't do it, but disconnection doesn't need to be weird disconnected pieces that make no sense. When you do disconnection that makes sense, it's really cool. All right guys, cool. So I hope you enjoyed the class. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys soon. I appreciate all of you. And have a safe week, great week, and I'll see you guys next Monday. 